Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flick Show. My name is Chris Wong. Let's get into the daily updates today. Got quite a few, so let's get right into it. First off, Samantha Wynn, who played Chambers in Army of the Dead, put this out. Let's push it to 100 million. What did she talk about? 100 million households. That's what she wants to do. So, um, you know how it's like in four weeks, you're saying it's going to be 72 million in, 42, uh, in four weeks? She wants to personally put out 100 million, and I agree this weekend. Please watch Army of the Dead as much as possible. Tell everybody who has a Netflix account to watch Army of the Dead um, and, you know, get to see Chambers kicking ass once again. Um, and here's a little bit more. Mick D put out this tweet. You got it. Watch party this Sunday, 12 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Ireland and UK. Let's do this. 100 million views in our sites. Uh, also consider price of cinema tickets donation to AFSP National. So um, here are the times right there. And, you know, you can freeze frame this shot if you'd like uh, <laughs> and pause this video. But that's the watch party that is this also this weekend as well. So please. All right. Let's get into other updates. Exclusive from Deadline Hollywood, Donnie Yen has been set to star with Keanu Reeves in John Wick 4. What? That is insane? That's so cool. Oh my god, I love this. Donnie Yen. I don't think they've ever been together, right? We're gonna Ip Man versus John Wick. What the heck? This is amazing. So Donnie Yen has been set by director Chad Stileski to start with Keanu Reeves and John Wick 4 for Lionsgate. Yen will play an old friend of Reeves' super assassin John Wick who shares the same history and many of the same enemies. But you know, I'm thinking there's, it's still gonna, they're probably gonna fight. It's, um, you know, I don't know if they're gonna work together. Is he gonna be like the new Halle Berry of this new movie? You know how Halle Berry was just like an old friend and helped him out for, you were gonna have some action sequences with Donnie Yen, and then he'll just like, goodbye, good luck with you and whatever you need to do at the Continental and stuff like that, and then move on. So I don't know what that's gonna happen, but having Donnie Yen and John Wick, that's awesome. Is there gonna be gunplay? I'm except, I don't think so. I think it's going to be all martial arts action, right? So it's going to be all that. But that's awesome. And I didn't know this either. It's scripted by Shay Hatton. Shay Hatton actually wrote, you know, helped wrote Army of the Dead. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we are very lucky to have Donnie Yen join the franchise since Staleski. I'm looking forward to working with him in this exciting new role. Uh, and added E1 Nick, uh, Donnie Yen will bring a vibrant and powerful energy to the franchise. We were determined to bring him on board to John Wick 4 and are thrilled for the opportunity to have such a major talent to collaborate with Keanu. Oh man, this is, this is incredible. I'm geeking out. I love Donnie Yen. I love him. Uh, I can't wait to see this. this. is really cool. John Wick 4 is also are already like one of my most anticipated movies of the year. Um, and it, it, it's gotten, it's getting higher and higher. It's getting higher and higher. Um, and I don't know if John Wick 4 is going to be the end. I feel like this is the end of the story, but maybe not. Maybe there's going to be more, you know. If it still works, if he's still capable, keep going. Keep going, man. It's really cool. So John Wick 4, that's coming out soon. All right, uh, a game, at, another game adaptation is coming out, and I talked about this on the show before, Borderlands. There's going to be another, a Borderlands film, and Jamie Lee Curtis is playing Dr. Patricia Tannis, uh, will, who some call insanely smart emphasis on the first part. Well, the joke is on them because I'm an NPC, non-player character, and I'm in the movie. She's just friends with Echo Net, who is a cheater, and that's her. This is the first look of her as her, at least her silhouette, of uh, Pat, uh, Patricia Tannis. Now, now, tennis looks like this in the game so obviously you know there's gonna be you know she looks probably gonna look older than this and I'm thinking maybe this is more in the future and this is like when uh, the sequel maybe to the games or like it's farther out um, that's why she looks like um, it's gonna be played by Jamie Lee Curtis but it you know you can't really see it yet but I'm pretty sure it will probably look almost accurate to the Borderlands game so but like all game adaptations we, we really don't know how it's gonna look right? we really don't know if it's gonna be good or not that's always the thing you know there's always something about game adaptations that people can't just figure it out and maybe because it's a game you know so um, like the first I love the first Mortal Kombat a lot of people like the the new Mortal Kombat movie as well Sonic Hedgehog, I think, is 
uh, really good. Uh, so that one kind of hit it out of the park. Um, but other game adaptations have not really worked out well. Will Borderlands be one that will work out well this time around? We'll see. All right, so this is about, we're going to DC now. This is about the Flash uh, TV series. This is from DC Movie Page. Candace Patton about the Flash who plays Iris West. Very almost for sure, practically confirm ending of the show next season. Uh, when asked on Instagram, ask me a question, I'll answer just a few. Are you sad that the show is ending? And she said, everything must end at some point. All we can do is have gratitude. And I don't know if that means like this season or next season's the ending. I think it's like more like it's it's going to end at some point. And I feel like I've always felt like, you know what? It's almost losing steam, losing gas like at this point in time. Let's start to try to wrap it up and it feels like they are. Right? It feels like they are because uh, Wells is out, right? <laughs> and and then other people are out as well and they're slowly letting people out. Um and um you know, I think it, at this point it could just start to end at this point so um don't know when but we'll see it could be a dc movie page could be right maybe next season will be the last season for um zw's the flash all right so uh, jeff arts uh, put out an interesting post here and that thought it was interesting interesting so the directors of batgirl posted this last year of them telling people to watch birds of prey with kathy yan but their recent post was announcing them directing Batgirl with first comic with a hashtag DCEU. So this is, um, so they were already probably already in talks or just like talking about it or they were just happened to be friends with Kathy Ann or saw Kathy Ann or whatever. Um, so yeah, watch Kathy Ann movie Birds of Prey with Margot Robbie, Bird, Bad Girls for Life, Movie Sister, Big Love, Big Love, Bad Boys. Um, and that's Kathy Ann, you know, right there. <laughs> um, and then their recent post was this, which is liked by Kathy Ann. Uh, it's such an honor and blast to direct Batgirl for DC, a DCEU, so that could be the case. So, um, like originally, you know, in my other video, I thought maybe, just maybe, because they were going to do a Batgirl Beyond, well, that was rumored, that Michael Keaton was going to train the new person. I figured it would have been in that same world. But wouldn't that same world be like Alicia Silverstone in a sense, kind of, but not really because it was Tim Burton too, so I don't know. But, I mean, uh, it could also make sense that he goes over to another universe and trains his other Batgirl, which, you know, this Batgirl could definitely well be from the DCU. Or maybe they're going to take that version of that universe's Batgirl to come into this version of DCU and then play Batgirl there. I don't know, because there was supposed to be Batgirl with Ben Affleck's Batman, right? And they were going to fight Deathstroke. Remember that story they are going to do? Um, so I don't know if it's that Batgirl, per se. Who knows? I mean, that'd be kind of cool um, that they play off that, okay, well, that Batgirl is the one going to be in the Ben Affleck Batman versus Deathstroke movie. If, they, if, if, if they ever make that. Or this is a new back row entirely. But like like everybody kind of just doesn't know, I guess, maybe what version they're in. So they just throw out DCEU because that's just a common name for the DC cinema. It's, it's basically MCU, DCEU is what we, we've been calling it. So it, I don't know if it necessarily means she's from this universe or that universe or whatever. It's just that in terms of cinematic, um, the cinematic Batman... Uh, and Batgirl, she's just part of that that whole deal. So, I don't know. We'll see. But she is um, not going to have a movie, though, like in, on the theatrical movie, unless something changes. But right now, it's just an HBO Max original movie. So, I'm really curious how that would play out in terms of connectivity. I'm still thinking um, that she will probably appear in the Flash film because Christina Hansen is writing both Batgirl and the Flash so I'm, I'm feeling like she will appear in the Flash and I think that's where we'll first meet her before seeing her own film uh, or own movie on HBO Max so that's interesting all right so the biggest uh, news today was that we get to see 
of the best quality footage of Zachary Levi on the set of Shazam 2 Fear of the Gods. So they finally, they shot some scenes at a school. Um, Dylan Gray apparently has a girlfriend and stuff like that. And we finally get to see a good shot of Zachary Levi and Shazam. So this is the cool outfit. Thanks to DC Versal for putting these out. But I'm guessing the pictures came from just Jared here. And I gotta say, that looks great. It looks great. It looks better than the first time around. Um, because the first time around had a lot of padding. This absolutely still probably still has padding in it, but it's less it doesn't look as, you know, obviously padded as the first one. Because the first one, um, Shazam, you just like people were making fun of like how padded it was. This one it looks a little bit more natural naturally padded in there um and uh, definitely like he probably had to work out a bit more and you show a little bit i noticed that how it looks very tight right it's not it's more seemingly less padded um and i'm thinking it, it just to make him a look, look a little bit bulky uh because I think it's going to be the same material and possibly even some of the same look as they're trying to match Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam. Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam has no padding because he doesn't have he doesn't need it. He's already padded. But I'm wonder, I'm wondering with this suit, you can how thin it is, it can probably pass over the actual muscles and you can actually see the definitions and stuff like that. Uh, so in, in in that case then Black Adam it will look like a monster compared to Shazam. But I like how it looks. I like how the texture is. I like the new details on the braces and the, um, and I think, do we get to see the boots? Oh, not yet. Um, the braces and the belt and everything like that. There's a little bit of a texture here that's different. The the th the bolt is gold. It's not white. It's And um, it, it will still light up, though, as David F. Sandberg later on tells us. It, it will light up, definitely. There is no cape here, so it makes me wonder if possibly the cape on for certain occasions will be CGI, kind of like Henry Cavill's Man of Steel CGI cape, so they can flow and do kind of stuff. Um, so that would be interesting itself but for now uh you can certainly tell that they've added their, with their budget with the added bigger budget they're able to put a little bit more a little bit more into the suit and which is good uh i mean for the first time you know a behind the scenes look at these other dcu films finally looks nice finally looks like okay i see it but david f sandberg did a little something and probably because all this came out he did a little teaser a little teaser of shazam fury of the gods so check this out there's the boots yeah the lighting great why is it so dark <laughs> probably would have been a good idea to have like one light on <laughs> Of course, they're gonna have the jokes in there. Of course, because it's, it's Shazam, Billy Batson. He's a kid. But you notice the boots are in there. The I like how the light lighting um, on the suit. I mean, the suit looks great behind the scenes. But sometimes with just not something, but all the time with that lighting in there, you can really see it better. Why is it so dark? People also notice when you look closely over here. There's a uh, split in the middle. I Meaning the cape is gonna be split in the middle. Uh, there's going to be two, I, I'm thinking, instead of just that one. So that's a, a, a different type of case. Probably would have been a good idea to have, like, one light on. One light on. So, yeah. That's amazing. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. And with the, you know, DP of, uh, of Maze Runner and all that, and that larger scope and scale... I'm thinking this movie is going to be a lot bigger, uh, with a lot bigger budget, absolutely, um, and a bigger tale, an epic scope to tell for Shazam Fury of the Gods. So currently, people are pretty much pretty happy with this at the moment, uh, and it's great. So let's see how he how he stands up to Black Adam. I can't wait to see Black Adam suit. Um, and I thought we we're going to see Black Adam suit first because Black Adam is coming out first. But you know what? Uh, I figure. I think they figured. You know. We, it's out in the open. Might as well throw out a teaser for it. Might as well throw out to see what it should kind of look like in the movie. In a stylish David F. Sandberg type of way. Ending with a little 
Um, <laughs> a little bit of a, a little joke at the end, I guess. Uh, Zachary Levi has said, like I said over on IG Stories, this is slick work, particularly since it's only been half a day. Meaning they're, see, they were, they were like, oh, it's, it's only half a day. I just shot this and people are talking about it. They're doing edits and stuff like that. Um, and this is a uh, shout out to Missouri. Uh, Al digging Zachary Levi's new Shazam suit. He looks dope. Here's a fun edit I did. Hope you like it. Shazam, Shazam, Fear the Gods. And it looks awesome. That's why I kind of chose that because it looks really cool. Great work. Great job on this. Looks nice. Looks nice with all that. All the thunder and lightning. <laughs> that's really cool. All right. Well, that's Shazam, Fury of the God. Nice, tight, small show. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you absolutely love this daily dose of entertainment news and content, please click the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Keep this hot dog light on, and I'll see you next time. Bye.